We are with Captain Steve Bowen. He has been to space four times, three times on the shuttle, one time on Dragon, and he is experiencing this. Here it comes. Here it comes. Steve, tell me what you're seeing right now. It's shrinking, it's shrinking, and we are almost there. It's getting smaller and smaller. It's just this is a incredible. Tiny sliver. There it is, you're starting to see the little oh. bumps. And, uh, there we are. This is the very edge of it. This We're is seeing it. the there sparkles you you actually see over the, the edge. There it is. The Look at the ring. <gasps> Look at the <gasps> ring. There you go. Oh, wow. Incredible. Bowen, that's, that's incredible. Isn't that amazing? Unbelievable. I, Look at that. When you sit there in the cupola and you look down at Earth and you realize how fragile the whole place is, that is a moment that that's it. you have that no one else gets to experience. We, we get to experience that now. That is amazing. It is absolutely unbelievable. There's nothing like it. It is. Look at this. Look at the darkness. Is this a this bit is of what you get in oh, the cupola? Oh, absolutely. This is just incredible. Look around. It is unbelievable. It's nighttime here. It is. Look at We're that. We're looking at the edge of the corona. These prominences that are coming off, you almost have to worry about the That's solar space wind weather. That, that is, is space coming weather. towards you yeah. because you're unprotected. Right. So what you're the... seeing there is it's obviously going out from the sides of the sun, but there's, you know, the sun's a sphere, so it can come towards you as well. But that gives everybody a sense of what you're seeing. And if you look, you see that lower corner there, there's obviously an ejection that's pretty bright, brighter than everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's just, that's what space weather is, is when the sun ejects mass and energy in or from the, from the, from the sun itself. And that's what that little bright spot is. Isn't that incredible? That's and amazing. the one thing that can protect you is is a bubble of water sometimes around Yeah, bubble you. water will and the uh, Earth's magnetic field is the biggest thing. But know? when you're in space. Yeah, we have the Earth's magnetic field where the space station is. We're only 240 miles high. But when we go to the moon, we'll be moving outside that area of protection. And that's something really important that we have to take into account as we go further and explore deeper into space. But that's, that's incredible. Look at that. Look at, it, it is absolutely amazing. These, these prominences that are coming off of here, they look like wispy edges, they but do. those are way bigger than the Earth is. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, sun is, the sun is gigantic. That's something to keep in mind. And there's a lot of good uh, NASA websites that will explain uh, the sun science, Helios, and it's, they actually have space weather predictions. So uh, we can see this. It doesn't get here. It doesn't travel the speed of light. What we're seeing that happened eight minutes ago. Eight ago. minutes ago. That, that's, that's eight yeah. light minutes so, away. Right. So that's where the sun. Obviously, the moon is not that far away. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's traveling at the speed of light. The actual energy is traveling a little bit slower, so we can actually forecast what that impact is going to be on Earth. The moon is not a pool cue. It's, no. It, it's not. It's actually got bumps on it. It does. So when the sunlight goes around it, All we're right. going to actually see what? Well, so we'll see little, little tiny as it comes back out, you'll see the little prominences, well, like sort of a bubble. Well, we got of we got to head back, but thank yeah. you so much for joining us, Steve Bowen. We're going back to you.